Thankfully, Sally. For the normal, I was going to say, for the normal people who didn't stay up late to watch it all, we're going to show it all to you right now. I've actually been now. told off by the boss once last night and just now this morning as well for staying what, up. Staying up too late. Yeah. You've got to go to bed earlier, Daniel. <laughs> but really? it's far too much yeah, but the fun. point is, will you listen? Do you listen to me? Do you listen to Sal? Do you no. listen to him? No, because you, just... you don't. <laughs> British tennis definitely has a new, a very bright star. Emma Raducanu's remarkable run at the US Open continues. She reaches her first major quarterfinal. The 18-year-old beat the home favourite Shelby Rogers easily, winning in straight sets in New York, as Michael Redford reports. She's amazing, isn't she? Uh, now, Europe have retained golf's Solheim Cup after a thrilling final day of singles in Ohio. England cricket captain Joe Root says he and his teammates need to be more ruthless after losing the fourth test against India. England was... Now, the last of the Paralympics GB team arrived back to the UK last night after the close of Tokyo 2020. GB won... Oh, it is stage three of the Tour of Britain today. A team time trial finishing at the National Botanical Gardens of... Are you ready for this? I just, I, I just saw it... And go on, what is it, Sally? I saw it in the running order. What is it? A goal which has potential. Get it? Potential? It's terrible, <laughs> isn't it? To be goal of the season. Yeah, Let's just see the pictures. Look. If oh, anyone didn't know brilliant. where the dog was on the football pitch, now you did. Obs. 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 Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the random dog. I don't know what this is. I think, <laughs> I think it's, you're, it's you're, you're, another dog. So your producer this morning just typed in dog, dog with ball. With, <laughs> with <laughs> ball. It was a dog like this. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. Thank oh, you Sally. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> with her too. Waiting for this. We were with you training months and months and months ago when we didn't even know if the games were going to go ahead. What's it like to come away with those two goals uh, for you out there? You know what? The games as a whole were absolutely incredible. It didn't feel that different. And it was, you know, you were looking for faces in the crowd, nobody there. Um, how long did it take you to get your head around that? I want to talk to you a little bit about crowds and integration because um, you've talked in the past about how you think maybe it's grown so much over the years and we would never want to get rid of that legacy. What is it that you get that bigger level of exposure and keep fighting for more? It's massively important. I didn't start wheelchair racing until I was 15 because I didn't know. For me, people expect it and that is a lot of pressure. So I feel more relief when I've done it. You know, it's exciting, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, Another four years as to come out and win a silver against those guys is it's no mean feat, let's put it that way. <laughs> He'll be blushing outside. Brilliant, brilliant story uh, from this incredible player. British tennis definitely has a new star. Emma Raducanu's remarkable run at the US Open continues. She reached her first major quarter. And I suppose in that moment, lots of people might have looked at her and thought, you know, is this going to become a problem? But what she's done overnight is she's very quickly put that behind her, hasn't she? Yeah, she should have learned a lot. Love to get very excited when we see a player like Emma coming through. And maybe sometimes there is a little bit too much attention on young players. How do we protect her at this point? Because Rob Burrow has been determined to raise awareness of his condition and to help others with living with motor neurone disease. Now he and his family are leading an appeal to raise £5 million to build a state-of-the-art centre in Leeds dedicated to caring for MND patients, which will be named after Rob. I've been finding out more. Is She's going to maybe outperform you one day, isn't she? She's Well, Dame Sarah Story, thank you for coming and sitting on our sofa this morning.